Oh, it's happening tubes. So we're going to talk about micro subcompact with this one here. This is the Springfield Hellcat. You can remove this 15 round mag and put a flush. I think it's a 12 rounder that comes with it. I think they still do that. I haven't really put it in my pocket to see because I've got an alien gear 4.0 shape shift holster shell for it. And I usually carry it in that. This one here, the disadvantages between the two. Okay, Glock 43, why is it purple? My wife likes purple. So don't hate the play, I hate the game. And I highly doubt a criminal is gonna be like, yo bro, you got a purple gun and would be laughing at me. No. They would probably talk shit if they didn't die. But if they didn't die, and they did get shot, they'd be like, that motherfucker shot me with a purple ass gun. What the hell kind of world is this where a grown man carries a purple gun? A grown man that don't give a fuck, that's who. Anyway, this, these two will go out of battery if you press this up against somebody's body. So, Let's say you're getting attacked and you've got on a hoodie and on that hoodie you've got a front pocket and you can put either one of these two in that front pocket. Well, if you press it up against even the cloth itself hard enough, it will render these guns inoperable because they will be placed out of battery. All you got to do is push this slide back just ever so slightly, and it'll just go click. Even with a round in a chamber. I don't have any dummy rounds. I'm not going through all that. But we're going to play it safe. Now, back to this one real quick. This one is loaded just in case somebody busts through my front door. And I know Kevin over at... uh. uh Buttholes Anonymous is saying that I'm paranoid and that's fine Kevin you can do you and I'll do me this one here you can fire if it's pressed up against somebody's body no hammer at all no hammer it's internal the only problem is with some people, this is double action only. And I'm okay with that, because in a self-defense situation, you're really not going to notice, let alone care. However, this one holds six rounds, plus one in the chamber makes seven, so it automatically carries two more rounds than this five-shot revolver. Which one would be less snappy in terms of recoil? To me, it's the Glock 43. That's just me. That's my opinion. May not be yours. A revolver that is a snub nose 38. Man, if you're shooting 158 grain 38 special out of this, whoo, oh man. This is a snappy, snappy SOB. But you do you, boo boo. I carry both of these. All right, so if my wife don't carry that and I just want to put something in my pocket real quick and get the hell out of the door, I'll grab this or I'll grab this. And yes, I have a speed loader for this. And yes, I have extra magazines for this. And no, I don't care if it's single stacked. I'm not going to the gunfight at the OK Corral. Those days are long over. I just want something just in case I need it. I hope I never do, but if I have to, it's there. In closing, you can't go wrong with any of these. Which one would I choose? The Hellcat, because it holds the most. For everyday carry, it'd be this. For maybe once in a blue moon, either one of these. 
you can pick and choose which one you want. I don't care that you would want to carry. And there's a 38 Special. And that came out of the chamber on the Glock 43. Y'all have a great day. Stay very safe. And be vigilant. Because these people out here are insane. But these are great firearms. I'm going to go ahead and go to bed. <sighs> we got a wimpy ass tropical storm coming through that if I farted the wind from the fart from my ass would be more powerful than the wind coming from this weak ass tropical storm Francine that's coming through right now 30 mile an hour winds I could fart harder than that anyway y'all have a great day